So, hey, I'm Johanna and I am a academic librarian. And I've been fighting for the last few years as part of ebook SOS to uh, improve access to ebooks and reform the ebook market. Um, here are some of the reasons and, and and what we have to deal with in libraries when we're trying to buy ebooks. So our academics will often write the books in in higher education, and the research they're writing up is often funded by public money. Not only do they write the books, they also review um, their colleagues' books. So they do all of the work, they send the work to the publisher, the publisher publishes the work and then restricts libraries from accessing those ebooks. So I have academics who've um, written books um, and they want their students to use them on their course and yet the library is unable to buy them because the publishers won't make them available to us. So that's one issue that we're facing. There are also huge restrictions on ebooks very often. Uh, so if you would imagine that you went into a bookshop and you picked the title that you wanted off the shelf, you took it up to the checkout at the shop and you said, I want to buy this book. And the shop assistant said, well, you can have this book, but only if you buy all of the other books on the shelves with it. That is exactly what happens when we're trying to buy ebooks. They're sold as big packages and we have to get lots of titles we don't want just to get one book at huge expense. So that is another problem. Um, publishers can also withdraw access to those ebooks at any time in a way that they can't with hard copy books. So if you imagine a publisher sells a library a book and then a year later walks into the library, scoops all the books off the shelves, walks out with them again and says you can't have these back unless you pay more money for them that is exactly what happens with ebooks as well so we are in libraries we are if we can afford the ebooks we are constantly paying for those ebooks often have to pay for them a second third time every year um, and so the tuition fees that students are paying and the public funding that we get from government is buying the same books over and over. So we can't ex expand our collection and get um, other relevant books for students to read. It's only the course, te the course textbooks. And so libraries are at risk of standing stagnant because we're so restricted into um, the content that we can purchase and students aren't getting value for their money. It is very irresponsible use of funding to keep investing this much money into the same key textbooks over and over again due to publishers restrictions. So that's why we are calling for policymakers and um, uh, markets um, auditors to come in and um, look at how we can reform the ebook market to make it fair um, and accessible to everybody that needs it.